right guys so what the deal is is uh my dad is borrowing my enclosed trailer for a uh, uh for a men's retreat um they need to use it you know to put stuff in and stuff so i let them use it so i'm having to i'm using the backup trailer maybe for a week or two um y'all hear that tick in this truck it's that uh like lifter tick and it goes away once the truck warms up but you know it is what it is but anyway let's get to work and another thing is why i didn't put the trimmers on the trimmer rack see i just unbolted i'm an enclosed trailer and i still have the post on this trailer so i just put them right there but i gotta adjust the you know the little blocks on the trimmers a little bit but i was like ah, i'm ready to rock and roll it's 720 i gotta go so i'll just i'll just adjust them out on the job somewhere and, and so i will i will adjust those a little bit i just gotta loosen the allen wrench just a little bit and move it and i keep tools with me so we'll do that situation right here uh, I don't know if you can see this but it's like a steep little hill right here and like you can't even hardly push mow this I mean you might could and uh, so I weed eat it you know it is dangerous to weed eat it so what I do is I just uh, I just leave it you know probably three and a half inches or so you know so I don't get down low to the rocks and um, also another quick tip my my man the blades of grass lawn care in Savannah did a video about taking notes you know of uh, things that are going on in your properties before you do them and uh, I'll show you what I mean like you see this crack right here um, I'm I don't think I've done that you know I've been here for been doing this yard for years but I think that was like that already before I started because because uh, I usually always know um, you know when I crack window I usually can uh, see the rock and it doesn't look like a rock it looks like something like it looks like they ran to it I think that when they used to do their yard their self they might have like accidentally maybe hit it with the mower because it doesn't really have like a rock chip um, and like I said, it's been that way for a few years, and I think it was already like that. But it was a great video to, to take into consideration, to take note of things like that on your properties because, you know, it, it can really, really help you. So so in this situation, I mean, they've been here working, in the, moving stuff in the garage and stuff, and they haven't said anything about it. So I don't think it's me, but um, so I'm just going to leave it for now. You know, I'll address the issue if they bring it up, but because I just don't think it was me. But, um, but you know it was a good lesson to uh to you know take note of things when you're when you're estimating it um you know because uh you wouldn't want to get blamed or something uh that you didn't do and um so so like in this situation uh, you know like i said it's been that way for years and they've never said anything that's why i think i think they had done it and like i said i'm always real careful i keep it high up so i don't get down by the rocks and stuff but anyway that was a great tip and uh we'll show you a little bit of footage of uh doing a little trimming right here okay what's up guys uh another quick story while i'm taking these some sticks up to the truck uh, on that note of the window you know last year there was a uh, uh, if y'all have been watching my videos for a while you had seen it but there was a, a a Camaro a customer's Camaro and it had rained the night before and so 
Uh, so, you know, it's kind of moist and stuff. And then when I had done the, got done with the yard, uh, you know, I realized there was a little dust spot on the window. I mean, it wasn't, it didn't pour so bad that it was, uh, you know, like it still got a little dusty, you know, once you was working, you know, later that day. And so, um, you know, I was real careful to, to uh, you know, weed eat the edge, you know, away from the car and stuff. But he has like five cars lined up right along the edge of the driveway. And, um, and so, um, there was a little dust spot. There's a little chip in the middle of it where you can see like where a rock hit it. It didn't crack it or anything. It just had a little, little tiny chip. And so, you know, because I'm anal about this, it's, uh, you know, the breaking the windows thing even. You know, make sure you're discharging away from it and try to uh, really pay attention, guys, because it, it is a problem every lawn care business. So, I noticed it had that little chip. And so I called him and asked him, I said, you know, hey, I don't think that chip was always there. Uh, check for me. And uh, he's like, yeah, you're right. The chip, that was not always there. Um, and so, so I replaced the window for him. I had it replaced. It was about, uh, you know, I have insurance, but I didn't use insurance because it was only about like 275 or something like that. And the guy came and put it in and everything. And so, so I paid that. Got him a brand new window. You know, I didn't even have a crack. It was just like a chip. Uh, and uh, so I did that, and it's so funny because, you know, now months later, that same customer that I went above and beyond to do that with, and now, you know, I haven't even been cutting his yard the last month or two because he, you know, like way behind on his bill, uh, on his money. So, you know, it's just one of the things, just kind of the, one of the things about this business, but I love the business, so, uh, but anyway, just thought I'd tell you all that quick story just because it's kind of funny. And uh, we're going to do some blowing and we'll do some more mowing at Next Yard and uh, all that stuff. So thank you for watching. See these things, guys? Like these things are all over right now in all my yards. You can see they're all in the driveway, all in the grass and everything super annoying and so right now the sweet gum balls or trees you know the leaves are down i guess they drop these before the new leaves come so anyway yeah they keep you know they can make the belt jump off your mower they have done that like last week and you know but hey that's why they pay us to deal with it so let's keep going